we're going to be using the Power Probe 4 for the driver's test. Go back to the basics, hit the menu button, get the test menu up, then scroll up and down with the clear and speaker buttons till you find the driver's test and hit menu. The PCM we're testing this time, or the ECU, is a PCM. It's a low side driver. Battery voltage supplied to the left side of this canister purge solenoid, and the computer supplies ground on the other. What we're going to do is disconnect it and connect the power probe 4 in place of the solenoid. So we are now going to be supplying battery voltage to the control circuit through the power probe 4 and wait to see if the computer grounds it. So here's what's going to happen. This reading should be normal battery voltage. That means we have no shorts or anything to ground. We were now going to wait for the computer to turn it on. When the computer turns it on, the voltage level we get is determined by how good the ground is. So the PCM driver supplies the ground. We drop to a low voltage. That's what we expect to see. So we observe these voltage readings now doing a real live test. Starting off, we're going to go in and use our bidirectional control in our scan tool. We're going to command the solenoid to turn on. Voltage goes low. Now we're going to turn it off and watch the voltage return to normal. If we can't get normal voltage, that's a special problem. If we can never see battery voltage, that's another problem. We'll talk about all these failures. But let's observe this particular problem in slow motion where we have a bad reading. We're going to plug it in and, we're going to see, and see that we have a very small change. See, we're getting only minor changes until we activate it. Once we activate it, the green light comes on and the voltage drops right away. So now you're seeing it happen in slow motion. This tells us we have a good thing. But remember this. The voltage we're getting here with it on shows the condition of the driver and the ECU grounds. The voltage would be higher than normal if the ECU ground has a high voltage drop caused by corrosion or a loose connection. So you're testing more than one thing. This 3 tenths of a volt reading indicates a good ECU driver and a good ECU ground. This is fairly typical. Doesn't mean it's locked in stone, but it's a fairly typical reading. If the battery voltage is missing and we're always low, Test it with the feed circuit. We go and plug the feed circuit in the bleed plus line supplying pin 2. It's supplying 12.65 volts in this case, 0 ohms. If we could not get high voltage, this tells us it's not a problem with voltage supply. So we go back and start thinking, okay, let's go look at a bad test, see what a bad test looks like. We're talking about a few missing things. Let's look at a bad test and talk about missing voltages when we get there. In this particular test results, we're in the shop so it's bad lighting, we're focusing just on the readout. When we plug it in, the solenoid is off, but we're not at battery voltage. When we activate it, it only moves a, moves a few millivolts, so this is not working for us. This is a bad driver, the worst one we've ever seen, as a matter of fact. The problem was corrected when we replaced the PCM. Now we're going to go back and verify the problem. The solenoid operation was perfectly normal, worked like we expected to once we replaced the PCM. Now, had the battery voltage been low with the solenoid off, we said we're going to use the feed circuit. Go back and look at it. If the control voltage is always low, we're going to come in and what we're going to do, disconnect the PCM. That removes the driver. If the voltage remains low, there's a short in the wiring. If we're going to use high side switching, switching B+, plus, we use the, the min max in the standard DC. You expect to see battery voltage with it energized and low voltage with it off. Now, don't confuse this test with a solenoid relay activator. We're going to cover that later in more detail. That's additional testing we can do.